PEPFAR, saving lives, investing in people. PEPFAR, partnering for an AIDS-free generation. PEPFAR has contributed to the improvement of a strengthened health system through multilateral engagement, which is integral to sustaining the response to HIV AIDS. I remember thinking at that particular point that we're in big trouble in Africa, because just knowing the dynamics, um, uh, in particular knowing the conservatism that generally sort of underpinned uh, most of the approaches. The birth of PEPFAR and the birth of the Global Fund provided unprecedented resources finally to actually do something meaningful about this. The demand for treatment far exceeded the capacity to provide treatment. So at government clinics, uh, you would find that there were waiting lists of three to six months, even longer. And somebody sort of looked at them and said, well, you know, this guy might make it. Let's move him a bit forward on the queue. This guy probably isn't going to make it. Let's just let them die in the queue. The training of doctors and nurses became key to strengthening health systems. We train nurses mostly. We train doctors. We train counselors, lay workers. We train people at industries as well, peer educators for industries and community health workers. BALK is NIMART, which stands for Nurse Initiated Management of ART. There weren't enough doctors to initiate ART onto patients, so nurses were going to take that over. We always followed the model of working in partnership with government. Uh, we ended up supporting up to 70 clinics with more than 700 seconded staff. And what the trick really was, was to go in and say, right, what is needed to get patients to flow through the clinics. Because the drugs were there, the clinic physically was normally there, and there were some staff, often the nursing staff and some admin staff, but you weren't missing a doctor or the pharmacist. So what we would do is really go in, second in the necessary staff, um, do some renovations if the facility doesn't meet requirements, put in IT systems and project management systems, and in the end supported 350,000 patients on treatment in partnership with government. As Kitampilo, our, our specific focus started off in the management of the individual with HIV. It's not just putting tablets in HIV positive people's mouths. It's creating systems. It's creating capacity. It's creating um, a technical knowledge, know-how, and confidence in managing this large epidemic. And these are tablets that she received. She kept it nicely in a container so that she, and then she set up the alarm on the phone to remind her for the time to take her ARVs. The community clinic in Wallace Dean is supported by Kete Impilo, a PEPFAR partner focusing on health system strengthening. Data management is one of those systems linking community clinics to departments of health. So every month records are put into the system and reports are drawn from the system. Uh, monthly reports which will show the new initiations, new patients remaining in care, defaulters for the month, viral loads of patients, and CD4 of the patients. So all the information you can be able to get at the end of each month. Now we have over 400 pharmacist assistants in training. 90 have qualified. So what we have done is we've been able to move them through a career path. So from earning 2,000 a month, in three years' time, earning 14000 a month through a continuous vocational training strategy. The funds from uh, PEPFAR made it, made it possible that medical people can transfer or shift some of their tasks to other uh, components of the medical team. We are taking care of HIV, also with TB, and also we are doing a study of pop art where we are studying every HIV patient on uh, ARVs, regardless of their CD4 count. It's all about prolonging lives uh, to improve care and to improve uh, their lifestyle because the moment the viral load is suppressed, it, uh, it is more, for the, for the patient, it is less infectious to give infection to others. You know, I can see people being wheeled into, into clinics with no hope, maybe from the relatives. And after ARVs, having those people bring themselves to the clinics, 
being well, to me those are success stories. And the patient coming to say to you, thank you, you know, for, for the life. Medical student Francis is practicing at a rural clinic in Worcester in the Western Cape. This includes home visits, which gives these doctors a better understanding of their patients. Seeing the way that they live, it's so beneficial to our course because you cannot treat a patient properly if you don't know their background. I mean, how can you tell someone to keep their diabetes medication in the fridge if they don't have electricity? If I am in my home in a village, the way the government would provide services to me would be in a very fragmented fashion. We are changing the way a person is going to experience services from government. It's going to be through one individual who will act as a gatekeeper. That individual then will define your needs, will be trained on 10 critical needs that have been defined by government, and then in one resolution provide these services at the home. PEPFAR's focus on strengthening healthcare services supports the South African government's vision to continue building capacity towards a sustainable national health system for all. PEPFAR, partnering for an AIDS-free generation.